What's up nerds, Joey here of Fuga Tech, and it's been a while, but we're here again with another episode of the show where we take a look at different device sets and answer one question and one question only. This is episode 10 of Can It Game? Now as you probably know by now, it doesn't matter if it's your first time watching or your 10th time watching, because nothing has changed with our premise. As we all know, smartphones come in all shapes and sizes with different outstanding features, but we don't really care about any of that. All we want to know is, can it actually play games and how good are they at it? So in our last episode, we got to take a look at the Redmi Note 7, which is definitely a fan favorite and is still one of our top recommendations for a gaming smartphone in its price range. But for this episode, we're taking a look at the newly launched Galaxy M20 to see if Samsung's newest addition to a crowded entry-level market has the chops to stand out. So, Samsung Galaxy M20. Can it game? Let's see. Let's begin by taking a look at the specs on paper. So we have an Exynos 7904 octa-core CPU at 1.8 GHz, Mali G71 MP2 GPU, 3 GB of RAM, and 32 GB of internal storage. Now let's keep this moving. Taking a look at our standard test setup, all we have installed on the phone are the apps we need. Now let's take a look at the numbers. So starting with our synthetic benchmarks, for Antutu V7, the Exynos 7904 so far is right where we expect it to be. No, it's not taking down the Snapdragon 660 or Kirin 710 anytime soon, but it's right around the level of the Snapdragon 636 and above the Snapdragon 450 with a score of around 109,000. For 3D Mark, while it does score pretty decently in the Vulcan test, in most mobile games, OpenGL matters more. And in the OpenGL test, we get a pretty subpar score of only 581. Yeah, graphics wise, it's not looking great. But apparently, it's a pretty good phone productivity wise, getting a score of around 5200 in PC Mark Work 2.0. But this isn't really relevant to this review since this is a gaming review, but I don't think I'd choose the M20 as a productivity phone either. It can get pretty sluggish. Now moving on to our gaming results. As per usual, we get our FPS and stability numbers from this amazing app called GameBench. Again, we have changed our test games to mix things up. We still have Asphalt 9, Mobile Legends, PUBG Mobile, and Brawl Stars, but now Speed Drifters is out and has been replaced by Honkai Impact 3, which a lot of you guys have been requesting. Anyway, as per usual, wherever possible, we set the graphics to the highest possible settings. So for the FPS results, uh, this is quite disappointing. Across the board, we're getting pretty below average results. The highest mark we get is 44 FPS, and mind you, that's for freaking Brawl Stars, which is probably the least demanding game in our test suite. And from then on, it doesn't get any better. Honkai Impact 3 and Mobile Legends are at 30 FPS, Asphalt 9 at 23 FPS, and the worst of them all, PUBG Mobile is only at 15 FPS. Stability is also all over the place. It gets as high as 90% for Mobile Legends, and then as low as 49-58%. <sighs> So, with all these numbers, we must condense it all and conclude this video with one answer. Can the Samsung Galaxy M20 game? I'm gonna say no. Now, wait. Before the fanboys out there bring out their pitchforks, let me expound on my conclusion. If we were to take the title of this series literally, can it game? Then obviously the M20 can game. Because that would mean it can run games. Of course, the games open up normally and run. But as you would know, that's not the case. We have to keep a certain standard in this show so we can give the best recommendations to you guys for gaming smartphones. And the M20 just doesn't cut it. Look, it's priced at 10,990 pesos. But in this price range, there are far better options if you want a smoother gaming experience. Add a couple more thousand pesos and you can get a much better phone for gaming. Redmi Note 7, Zenfone Max Pro M2, maybe a Kirin 710 phone like the Honor 10 Lite, Huawei Y9 2019, or Huawei Nova 3i. So purely for the purposes of gaming, don't bother with the M20. You're better off spending your 11,000 pesos elsewhere. All right, guys. So that wraps up this video. What phone do you want us to test in the next episode? Let us know in the comment section down below or hit us up on Twitter at Yugatech or send a message over to our Facebook page. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave us a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Joby and I'll see you in the next one.